What's going on growers? It's James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. Today, me and Tucker are going to show you how to prune your cucumber vines so that they grow less leaves and produce more fruit. Let's go. Let's jump right into the pruning. I'll give you a hands-on example right here. So to start off, we've got the main stem of the cucumber plant growing right here. I'll follow it up with my finger. That's the main stem. And then off this main stem comes a sun leaf right here. Between that sun leaf and the crotch of the sun leaf is where we have basically four things going, going on. So we've got the sun leaf coming off, that's one of them. We've got this tendril in the back. This is what helps uh, the cucumber plants connect to strings and to the trellises. Then we have our small little cucumber. And then we have our growth point right here, or our sucker. So what we want to do is find these growth points in the crotches and then just remove these by hand when they're young, just like this. So we're just going to take it and remove it by hand like that. That is going to focus the attention on the one top of the cucumber plant and it's going to keep it growing up a single stem like this. I'll bring you to another example. Right here is another example of the same scenario where we have one main sun leaf right here. Then we have our tendril right here and your tendrils, you could break these and they'll have no effect on the plant. It's almost like cutting your hair. Then we have our fruit right here, and then here we have our sucker or our growth point. All we're gonna do is just remove that with our hand, just like that. And then we'll do the same thing as if you move up. On the next crotch, we've got the same scenario. So we're just gonna remove that growth point as well, which is right here. And you'll notice this growth point has gotten a little larger. So if they get too big to just snap off with your hand, you could just take a pruner just like this and just cut it to remove it. Just like that. Now come over to the right here. Same thing again. Four things. We've got our, our sun leaf, our tendril, our fruit, and then our top. Let's just remove that top. Just like that. Here's another cucumber plant that we have growing up a single stem. As you'll notice as you go up, it's attached to this one string, which is exactly what we want when we're growing our cucumbers vertically. But as we look down here, you'll notice there are some suckers that I missed. For instance, right here, we've got a sucker or growth point coming out. So what we're gonna do is just remove that one with a pruner. And we're gonna go down and see we've got a couple more as well. Here's a growth point right here. If we allow this to grow, it's gonna bush the plant out a lot and it's gonna do a number of other things like redistribute uh, the energy to a bunch of tops. That's not what we wanna see. We're gonna go down and remove some more growth points. You'll see there's one right here. You can see that's where the leaves are unfolding. If we allow this to continue to grow, between every fan, uh, fan leaf or sun leaf on that, we're gonna have even more growth points. So it's just gonna really bush the cucumber out. We want this thing growing vertically. We're gonna go down and cut this growth point off also. While we're down here pruning, we're gonna remove a bunch of these lower leaves as well. Cause we'll notice these lower leaves are what bring in a lot of the disease. Since they're so close to the ground, they don't get as much airflow or as much sunlight. So they're more susceptible to kind of fungal diseases. So we're gonna remove a lot of these lower leaves just so any infected leaves don't spread the issue further up the plant. We're gonna do this for the first like foot or two. You'll notice, I'm just gonna keep cutting some of these fan leaves off. Now there's less leaves on the bottom, which brings in a lot more light, a lot more airflow, and just leaves it a less conducive area for those fungal issues to be growing in. So. We'll go up and we've got one more growth point right here we're gonna remove. So we're gonna take this one off. And then we move up this plant and you'll notice we only have the one growth point at the top. This is important because what we're doing here is we're kind of redistributing the energy of the plant. So if we allow all different suckers and growth points to come out, what's gonna happen is this plant is gonna focus so much of its attention on growing tops and growing leaves. We don't want that. We want to focus its attention on one top and on uh, producing fruit and actually ripening and finishing that fruit. One thing that's important to note about pruning your cucumbers, how I'm showing you, is that this only applies to cucumber varieties that are vining and ones that you're growing up a trellis. This does not apply to cucumber varieties that are bush type. And if you're just wanting them to sprawl along the ground, like you see here, you can do that. Although in my opinion, it's not as efficient of a way to grow them as growing them up a trellis and pruning them. It's starting to get hot out here. You can see, look at the little guy, the, the hole he made in the back. It's insane, so hilarious. I think he's getting a little thirsty. He dug a little hole around our potted potatoes and stuff. So we're gonna give him a little bit of water here if he wants. Want some water, boy? We're gonna pour him some fresh water here. This guy loves his fresh water. 
And we've got the grow water bottles right here. So if you want to get some grow water bottles, grab some merch. And you can also grab some shirts too at jamesprisioni.com. This is the exclusive summer merch. So we'll let Tuck continue to get some water. You may be asking yourself, why would we even prune the cucumbers like this? Why not just let them sprawl? Well, a lot of the reasons to prune the cucumber is similar to the reasons that we prune and tie our tomato plants too. So let me get into some of those. First, we prune off the growth points, also known as suckers, on our cucumber vines so we can focus the attention to where we want it. Let me bring you to a plant right here. Well, notice we have the plant growing up one single stem. When we do this and we prune off those growth points, we're redistributing all the energy of the plant into producing more flowers and producing more fruit and to that one growth point. So when we remove these suckers, we're allowing these fruits to actually ripen quicker because the plant has more energy to put towards fruit. The second reason we prune our cucumber vines to a single stem is so that we get a higher overall yield per square foot. So if we allow our cucumber plants to sprawl out, like you'll see in here, they just bush out, they take up a lot of space and they start growing in all different directions, like you'll see here. When we allow this to happen, what we're doing is we're not actually utilizing all that vertical space. So we're missing out on a lot of space. So when we grow things up a single stem and vertically, we can fit more plants in one in a square foot area and get an overall higher yield. The third reason that we prune our cucumber vines and grow them vertically, as I remove some of these leaves and some of these tops right here, so we'll take this one off and some of these leaves. So the third reason that we're doing this is it makes the vines much easier to manage and much easier to get harvest from, which is important. As this cucumber up here starts to get bigger, it's gonna be really easy to find that cucumber and to get a harvest from it because it's easy to just get around the string and to see all the fruit. Let me bring you to a spot where we have them growing along a trellis and I'm allowing them to kind of spread out a bit. It makes the cucumbers much harder to find which is actually a huge deal when it comes to cucumbers. Because if we allow some of these cucumbers here, like you'll notice we've got some nice ones down here. Here, here, here's a nice one. If we allow one cucumber like this, we'll grab Tuck a snack. Tucky, want a piece? Want this one, boy? If we allow one cucumber to finish on the vine and reach full maturity, then the whole cucumber plant will quit producing. So think about that. Imagine you got one cucumber sitting at the bottom, bottom of your plant hidden because it's not growing up a trellis and you can't find it really. If that one cucumber plants reach, that one cucumber reaches maturity, then the whole vine will quit producing and you'll get way smaller of a harvest than you could have. So you need to stay on top of picking your cucumbers when they're small and so you can continually get a harvest. It's kind of like tricking the cucumber plants to produce more cucumbers. Because the cucumbers, their main goal is to produce seed and to, you know, grow the offspring the next generation so if we keep removing the cucumbers the plant's going to keep flowering to try to keep put out more cucumbers to try to eventually produce seed so if we want to get more harvest we got to keep picking and when we're growing vertically it's much easier to find the cucumbers like that this is actually my first year growing cucumbers up a single stem and pruning them this is what i was doing the other years you'll notice this has just become a jumbled mess there's too many tops growing in different directions when it's like this there's not enough light not enough airflow and it's just hard to get to the harvests i've had multiple times where there'd be a cucumber forming like right here in between uh, the fence and then the cucumber just like grows in the fence and you can't even get it out it gets like stuck in the fence i've lost a lot of cucumbers like that so growing them up the string is going to make it so i can actually harvest the majority, if not all my cucumbers, because I'll be able to see them and they won't get ruined by anything like a fence or something. As the season progresses on and your cucumber vines get taller and taller and eventually reach the top of your trellis, what we wanna do is take our cucumber vine, tie it to the top of our trellis, and then we're going to leave the top and then we're gonna leave one, two, three other tops on it. What this is going to do is those tops, once they get high, we're gonna allow allow them to cascade down. There's gonna be four different tops and they're just gonna be like pouring down almost like an umbrella. This is called umbrella trellising. So they're all gonna have cucumbers just coming off in all locations. This is gonna really improve our yield because if we just leave one top to try to keep growing up, we don't have enough trellis left to actually do it. So we're gonna allow them to come back down, but keep four tops on it so there's a lot of fruit. This style of growing cucumbers where we're pruning them and tying them to a string, this is how the pros do it in the greenhouses and get the largest harvest for the smallest amount of space. So we're just kind of taking a little information from them just so we can increase our harvests. I'm gonna cut out a lot of these lower leaves because they're only gonna be spreading diseases. 
So all these bad leaves here, you always want to make sure you remove any leaves with any damage on them. It's not going to help. It's only going to help spread more disease. So you'll notice as I'm removing a lot of these leaves, you just take some more out here. And then we have one growth point here that suckered out. I'm just going to remove this just like that and more leaves. What's super important, especially as we're pruning these lower leaves, is that we have a nice thick mulch down. Cucumbers are 95% water. So if they don't have adequate moisture, they will not produce good fruit. The fruit will be bitter. That is not what we want. You'll notice we had some small cucumbers fall off here. These younger ones here, this is mostly due to uh, not getting pollinated. So the rest of the cucumbers should be fine as we get some nicer weather. But having that mulch down is so incredibly important because we do not want these cucumbers to be uh, lacking moisture or they will get bitter. There are a couple common issues when growing cucumbers. One of them is a fungal issue and the other one has to do with cucumber beetles. When it comes to the fungal issue, doing this is important. Removing a lot of these lower leaves on your cucumber plants. Another thing that is important is when you're watering your cucumber plants, you want to water the base and soak the soil. You do not want to have an over the head watering and wet all the leaves down. When you wet the leaves down, you're just opening uh, more susceptibility to fungal issues. And when your plants are wet, you don't want to be brushing into them or knocking into them and touching your other leaves or other plants. You're just going to spread that issue. When it comes to the cucumber beetles, there's a few things we can do to either avoid them or deal with the issues. So the first thing we can do is grow some varieties that lack the bitter gene. So the cucumber beetles are attracted to the plants that have that, you know, the bitterness in them. So certain varieties do not. That's why when it gets really hot out, the cucumber beetles really come to your plants and are attracted to them because as your cucumbers get less water and become more bitter, they kind of like draw a lot of those cucumber beetles in. So if you grow some varieties like the burpless varieties, they lack that bitter gene. So they can't express it. So they don't really attract as many of the cucumber beetles. So you can kind of avoid them. Another thing you can do is the cucumber plants, when they're small, that's when they are more susceptible to getting the uh, cucumber beetles to come in and really cause some damage, especially when they're young. So what we can do is just cover our cucumber plants with an insect netting. And then as we start to see flowers on our cucumber plants, we remove that insect netting so that the bees can come in and pollinate it, unless you just want to go around and hand pollinate them all yourself. But again, once your cucumber plants start flowering, you need to make sure you remove that insect netting so you can get some good pollination. That's today's Bureau Growers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. If you know how to prune tomatoes, then you probably know how to prune cucumbers because they're very similar. A lot of the same reasons to prune tomatoes happens to be the same reason to prune cucumbers. That's why I started doing it this year. I haven't done it in the past, but I'm happy that I started doing it now rather than doing it like too far in the future. If you've never tried it, I suggest you do. And I'm not saying you have to grow all your cucumbers like this. Just pick a small spot and something like this at the end of a raised bed and just grow a cucumber right up the side of it. It's kind of like a spot most people won't even plant anything, but you can still get that extra harvest. Me and Tuck had a blast out here. We wanted to let you know to grab some of the summer merch down at jamesprigioni.com. If you want to grab some, we've got shirts, we've got women's shirts, we're going to be adding kids' clothes, we've got water bottles, you can grab a kneel or two. So there's all different kind of stuff. I also want to thank one of the new channel members, C. Elizabeth. Thanks for being a part of Team Grow. Thanks for contributing. Thanks for, you know, having your hand in basically all the things we're doing. If we peer to the right a little bit, We'll notice Tuck is just relaxing, chilling right there, not even in his holes. It's actually a beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees and uh, we're just soaking in these beautiful days while we can now that summer is actually here and we're just going to try to make the most of them. So if you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share with your friend. Don't forget to check out the merch down low. James and Tuck will be back to you again real soon. We out.